Hey, what's up YouTubers? Uh, this will be my first uh, bicycle component review. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. My name is Sentry underscore rider. Sentry underscore rider. Alright, here, check it out. Doing a review of the Terry Liberator Y saddle. Um, it's got award winning comfort. Uh, and they're known for their saddle designs. Um, I first found out about it when I borrowed a friend's bike in South Carolina. Uh, he had a Cannondale uh, bike, kind of vintage bike, and uh, ended up really liking the saddle. Usually I use race saddles, really hard saddles, um, or harder saddles. But this is the saddle I usually use, um, right here. It's the Roman Evo, uh, Roman Evo Comp Gel, um, and it's got that curved beak nose, kind of like the Sele SMP, um, so it's good for in and out of the saddle, uh, all day comfort, and it's it's curved, so uh, it's got a, a lot of seamless edges to it. Um, this is. The cheaper version, the chroma chromoly rail version, um, and because of its curved design, if you look at it straight on, um, instead of its flat profile like um, the toupee specialized toupee saddle is more of a flat design, um, I decided to go with. Uh, the 155. I don't know if you could see that on there. There it is. Okay. Oops. 155. Yeah. And um, well, enough about this saddle. This saddle's a good saddle. Um, it's just a little bit uncomfortable after mile 70 as far as touring. And this is a lighter uh, racing saddle here. This is um, my 2K in a 143 uh, width. Good saddle too, very flat profile. Um, kind of rigid, unforgiving on really long rides and really stiff. Also chromoly rails. Um, the material says it's a uh, I don't know what it says for this one, but the physique one was like a carbon composite. And then this saddle I got for touring, but um, it was just a bit too cushy. Um, this is the this is the Surface RX split all the way down the middle, so total pressure relief, but um, just too cushy. Um, Short rides, great, you know, rides to the grocery store, great, but anything longer than 20 miles, it, it really is uncomfortable, especially if you, you race bikes or you're, you go a faster pace, it is really cushy, really soft. Um, this saddle, I thought it was going to be great, but a little too soft. Alright, and of course here it is, the final saddle. Um, this is the Terry uh, Liberator Y, really great saddle, it does have a wider nose so you can TT on it um, and it is cushy but it's way more rigid than the Surface RX which is just too, too, too cushy, too, too soft. This one does appear to have a lot of padding but the padding is really rigid uh, padding I'm trying to getting I'm trying to get all the angles here and um, the top is uh, leather material I usually don't buy leather material um, I usually opt for the synthetic but uh, Terry um, offered this one in the leather and I really like the saddle so I went with the leather.
All right, and I rode a 70 miler on it, uh, in and out of the saddle, and uh, it was really comfortable, really comfortable on sprints and in the drop bars for long periods of time. Uh, just make sure you do follow the instructions on the back and get a level and try to make it as level as possible or slightly nose up but there's instructions on the back of saddle height and saddle angle and the saddle brands that uh, Terry offers. I didn't see any videos on this saddle but I think it, it's a remarkable saddle that definitely deserves a uh, second look. I uh, got it for about 54 bucks on eBay. Totally worth every cent. I give this saddle two thumbs up. Or, uh, from a 0 to 10 rating, 10 being the highest, I give this saddle an 8.5. Very comfortable. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Peace. Keep the rubber side down.